Hi, my name is Kathy Mackey. I'm the Director of Faith Formation at the parishes of St. Augustine's and St. Mary's in Baldwinsville. And we have a very special um, program for our students in grades six through 10. And how we, um, how one of the things that we do with those kids is we have something called Super Sundays. And Super Sundays this year met five times during the year. And it was three hours of in-person time and then two hours of um, an at-home lesson. So what we did was we would have a Super Sunday and a Super Sunday consisted of mass for the students and for their families. So it would be a special mass outside of the regular weekend liturgy mass schedule. And the kids would um, all come together with their parents and, you know, we'd have the kids do the readings and bring up the gifts and um, just a very special time with um, music that was geared towards teens and a homily that was geared towards um, what the theme of that week, that month, Super Sunday would be. And then um, after that, after mass was over now, pre pandemic, what we would do is we would have dinner and we would all eat dinner together. The parents would then leave and the kids would enjoy the fellowship of their classmates and eat dinner together. We weren't able to do that this year with um, some of the guidelines. We were just kind of nervous with the masks being off for that extended period of time. But now that all those guidelines have been lifted for the final Super Sunday, we are going to be having a big dinner. And we are in actually inviting the families to join them because we're just so excited that we're able to eat together again. So after dinner, we have a speaker. So we've had some really phenomenal speakers come and speak to the kids, um, just sharing their story, sharing what they do to live their faith, um, really opening up the kids' eyes to, you know, how you can serve God and serve his people. And even the smallest of ways, people just like them who just said, you know, I moved to do something, something more and make a change and make a difference. And it really helps to empower the kids to know that they can do the same. And the speaker speaks for about half an hour or so. And then when the speaker's done, the kids go to um, their small group. And small group is based on their grade. And they meet with their catechist. And they really break open what the speaker talked about and um, how it pertains to them and what they thought. And you know, their catechist will ask them some questions um, to really have them reflect on what they just heard. And then after that, they do a small service project. So they might do something that you know the speaker... Um, whatever organization they belong to, the speaker might have said that they need something. Um, and there's, that's the way for the kids to be able to minister to those um, that need their, their services, their help in that organization. So it really ties everything in based on what they've heard that night. Then the evening ends, but it doesn't really end there because then I do something that I call living the lesson. So we just heard everything um, that pertains to church teaching. So, and we, we heard the speaker speak so eloquently about how they're serving God and his people, but how does that pertain to that individual student? How can that student live the lesson? Because we're a church of not just word, but deed as well. So the living the lesson is a way for each family to be able to say, this is what we choose to do this month. And it's got to take at least two hours to live the lesson that they've learned. So um, for example, during um, Christmas time, we had a speaker come in and speak about food insecurity. So then the families living the lesson was they had to um, find a way to serve people who were food insecure, but they could do that any way that they wanted to, wanted to do it. So somebody might have volunteered um, at Emmaus Ministry and somebody might have volunteered at the Samaritan Center. Somebody might have gone and bought a lot of food and donated it to um, the Baldwinsville uh, Food Pantry. Or somebody else might have said, I'm going to make a huge donation um, by, I don't know, financially, like kids might have done chores, some kids did chores, and then with the money that they made from the chores, they gave it to the food bank. It was incredible to see the different ways that families came up with to live the lesson. And once again, this ties into whole family catechesis and whole family evangelization. So as we know, we're a domestic church, you know, um, catechesis and love of God and following faith starts at home. So it's not just um, a stop and drop where the kids are just dropped off here and they're learning their faith through us. It's really important that their family helps to show them, okay, this is how we choose to live our faith. This is how we choose to serve. And it becomes a really special time for families to do these things together. 
I cannot tell you the number of emails I've gotten from families that say, we really love the living the lesson because it's a time for us to come together as a family. And with families as overscheduled as they are, they really, really love this opportunity to come together and be able to share faith together and serve God's people together. So it's been a beautiful experience. And um, it's a great way to tie in um, the traditional form of catechesis where the kids are you know, taught with us, but also the whole family catechesis.